Hi, this is Star Ackerman with IK Multimedia, Winter NAM 2009. I'm here with Trey Daniels, bass player for the, the amazing rock band P.O.D. How you doing? And the owner of the Riot Phoenix Production Company. Trey has been an, an Ampeg SVX user and a Stompio user. You had an amazing release this year when, er, when Serpents and Angels Dance, right? Yes, we did. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about Ampeg SVX on that album? Um, actually, it was my first introduction to um, Amplitude. Um, Ampl Amplitude, excuse me, was in the studio with uh, Jay Baumgartner, and uh, we were just trying to work out some bass sounds and stuff like that. You know, I normally use my own rig. You know, we mic up everything, but um, he's like, "Man, you got to try this plug in out. You got to try this plug in out." We um, <clears throat> plugged into the uh, the SVT plugin, and he was letting me listen to some stuff, and I was like, "Wow, this sounds pretty good." He put it all up in a mix, and I was like, "What did you use on my bass?" He said the SVT plug-in. So pretty much I've been hooked ever since then and that's when um, he's like man I need to hook you up with this program and I got it and I've been pretty much using it ever since and I hooked up with you guys and we just kind of developed a relationship and I'm a fan. And we were delighted to find out that you used Ampeg SVX, the SVT specifically, yeah. from that plug-in on every song on the album. Every right? song on the record. Actually we didn't even use my live sound. We spent hours plugging up, you know, hooking up microphones to get this great tone. And when it all came down to it, it was all said and done. It was totally 100% a direct and um, Ampeg SVT plug-in. That was it. Right on. And that's a first for me because, you know, I've never done it that way, but it was amazing. You're also a user of uh, Amplitude Hendrix, right? Yes. I, I mean, you know, I've been, you know, I've been playing guitar a lot. I'm really into a lot of blues and stuff like that. And like the plug-in just makes it easy for me. I mean, because I'm working out of a house and um, I don't have the advantage of having isolated rooms and isolated booths where I can go in and plug in cabinets and stuff like that, it's just easier to me, especially from a creative standpoint, so it doesn't break my flow, to just pull up the plug in, dial in a sound that I like and boom, I'm up and running in five minutes as opposed to two hours. You know, so just, you know, it makes a big, it makes a big difference when it comes to just creating songs and stuff on the fly. Yeah, creative workflow is easier. You don't have to stop, easier, fix anything. Yeah. And it's consistent. Very consistent. And every plug-in sounds great to me. So it's like normally when I hit the plug-in, it automatically sounds good right out of the can. And I like the fact that I don't have to go in and do a whole bunch of tweaking. It's there, you know, so it's great. Excellent. You were also one of the first users of our Stomp.io audio interface and controller, which controls all powered by Amplitude software, specifically yep. Ampeg SVX. What did you think about it in terms of sound and usability? I uh, the sound of it was actually pretty incredible. Um, you know, in the studio it works really good because a lot of times in the studio you're, you're carrying a huge tub of vintage, you know, stomp pedals and stuff like that. With the um, Stomp IO, I'm able to go straight into the um, IK Media um, interface and the Amplitude 2 interface and pull all these um, pedals and plugs and sounds and amp molly on a fly just like that. And even in a live setting, it works out pretty good too because everything that I used in the studio now, I can take that exact same sound live. Some of the times it's kind of hard to emulate some of the stuff you do in the studio with all the finished pedals you have. You don't want to take them on the road anyway. But because of the, um, the plug-in, I mean, it just makes, and because of the Stomp IO, it, make, it allows me, it gives me the opportunity to bring that exact same sound in a studio on the road with me, seamless and effortless. What kind of stuff do you have coming down the pipeline for the 2009? Um, I've been doing a lot of um, pre-production stuff and um, working with a lot of bands and do a lot of remixes and stuff like that on some artists with some artists I'm working with. So, um, Stomp IO is a large portion of you know my, my workstation, and so is the IK Media um, Amplitude. It's funny because my engineer is here, and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll give him like vocal. You know, arrangements or maybe some guitar or bass or whatever and he'll take the um, rack section of Amplitude and actually use it on vocals. And I'm like, where'd you get that sound from? He said, man, you're not going to believe where I get the sound from. And sure enough, he pulls up in the Amplitude. Sure enough, it's, you know, one of the, your, your rack modules with a Jimi Hendrix, you know, wah, wah pedal and whirly or some crap like that. And I'm like, that's pretty creative. He's like, bro, it just sounds amazing, man. It sounds great. Listen to that. So, Your engineer is Chris Wood, right? Chris Wood, yeah. Yeah, he's worked with some other yeah, he's you know he's been around for a long time. He's worked with Brian McKnight for years. Everything Brian McKnight done has done. He's Chris has been engineer on that. But um, just to name a few, Justin Timberlake. He's worked with um, Alicia Keys. He's worked with um, Jill Scott, um, Erica Badu, 
um, Rascal Flats. I mean, he's, he's done so much stuff, it's unbelievable. And he's the lead engineer over at um, Riot, um, the Riot Music Recording Studio, so. So Riot Phoenix, which is your production company. My production company, yeah. Any notable bands coming out of your production company that you'd like to promote? Um, actually, you know, there's a, a few bands that I've been working on. One of the bands is called The Wrecking, and they're out of um, um, Portland, Maine. Amazing guys. Uh, we've been doing a lot of remixes and stuff on some of their stuff. And there's a band I'm actually working with called the uh, Dirty Heads out of Huntington Beach. And what genres are they into? The Dirty Heads are kind of, uh, wow, man. They're like a, a mix between Sublime and Beastie Boys. So it's got a real cool, yeah, real, real cool, cool vibe there. Maybe a little Jack Johnson type style. And um, the wrecking is kind of like um, maybe Maroon 5 mixed with a little bit of Coldplay, mixed with a little bit of One Republic type style. And all coming out of your studio over there, that's great. Yeah, a lot, I'm doing a lot of, you know, a lot of remixes and mixing and stuff like that. It's real cool. So using IK Multimedia software as well? Absolutely. I always use IK Media software. And, it, and the sound of it's so good, like I said before, it's not just a one plug type of thing. It's not just guitar. I can take the guitar effects and use it on everything. Keyboards, vocals, everything. That, that's how good the quality is of the uh, recordings and stuff. And they just transfer real well in uh, Pro Tools for me, so. When's the next show date for you? Um, Beauty's been taking a little bit, uh, a little bit of downtime, but uh, we're actually going to be doing some stuff in the fall here. Not the fall, excuse me. In the spring coming up, we're going to be doing some stuff. So, so we can find the concert and tour dates at POD.com? Yeah, if you go into um, payableandeaf.com, you'll be able to find any tour dates that are happening with the band. Okay, and for your band specifically, they're at riotphoenix.com? Yeah, you better go into Riot Phoenix. Uh, actually, the .com's not up right now. It's in uh, construction, but you can definitely go into the MySpace, which is Riot Phoenix Music, MySpace. And um, the Dirty Heads are actually going to be on Warp Tour this year, and we're doing some um, do fest stuff with the extreme um, snowboarding and uh, the wrecking is going to be out too as well doing some college stuff so just be on the lookout. You have to keep us updated so we can do some interviews with them as well. I will definitely. definitely. This is IK Multimedia with Trey Daniels from POD Winter NAM 2009.